Welcome to Practical GIS, Fundamentals of Open Source GIS, a video course by Pact Publishing. I'm Todd Heppenstall and I will be the presenter for this course. Gabor Farkas is a PhD student at the University of Peixe's Institute of Geography. He holds a master's degree in geography. He often studies geoinformatical solutions in his free time, keeps up with the latest trends and is an open source enthusiast. He loves to work with GrassGIS, PostGIS, and QGIS, but his all-time favorite is WebGIS. Let us now take a look at brief overview of the course. GIS is a system for collecting, manipulating, managing, visualizing, analyzing, and publishing spatial data. It can help you to make better decisions and to get more in-depth results from data based on their spatial relationships. The first section, Setting Up Your Environment, guides you through the basic steps of creating an open source software infrastructure you can carry out your analyses with. The next section, Accessing GIS Data with QGIS, teaches you about the basic data models used in GIS. It discusses the peculiarities of these data models in detail. The section, Using Vector Data Effectively, shows you how you can interact with vector data in the GIS software. It discusses GUI-based queries, SQL-based queries, and basic attribute data management. Section 4, Creating Digital Maps, discusses the basics of digital map making by going through an exhaustive yet simple example in QGIS. It introduces you to the concept of projections and spatial reference systems. The final section, Exporting Your Data, guides you through the most widely used vector and raster data formats in GIS. It discusses the strengths and weaknesses of the various formats. For this course, you will need to have a computer with mid-class computing capabilities. Also, you will be requiring QGIS version 2.18.10 and GRASS 7. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started.